And thus did dawn break on a realm reborn. Well, that sounds like... That, bro, that sounds bad. Like, but where is there is light, there is always shadow. Yeah, I'm about to say. Now what? Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Oh, they're all clapping for me. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, guys. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. Yep. Hi. Welcome back, Warrior of Light. We all prayed for us. Yes, I, I know. All right, let's talk to Milfina, see what, see what she has to say. Ever since we defeated Gaius von Balesar uh, and destroyed his ultimate weapon, uh, the, the eyes of the world have followed our every move, scarce remembering the blink. Where we once worked in secret, with now precious few friends and now ultimate enemies, we are now beseeched with benefactors, each one more eager than the last, to offer his offer us his complete support. Whenever we formed a science of the seventh dawn, it was our goal to serving Eurasia, not the interests of individual Eurasians. Our neutrality is fundamental to our cause, just like the Illuminati. Our Baldassian colleagues have been generous beyond measure, but we cannot expect them to. Forgive me, I did not mean to burden you. We can't, listen, we can't take, we can't take bribes. Uh, yeah, it's my urge to share this dilemma with you. That may not be wholly misguided. Might not impose you to consult the others, so likely to have their own opinions on the matter. Okay. Should we accept bribes from angry merchants or not? All right, what is, what does uh, the old Redditor want? Hmm, this situation is not wholly unexpected. I, too, have given much thought to our organization's future. Though it would have seemed to reach a different conclusion. Mayhap, it's time that I made my feelings known to the antecedent. Come along, Asmongold. Alpha not Asmongold. Is something amiss? You desired counsel, and so you should have it. Milfina, the signs of the seventh dawn must leave, Udala. What? What the fuck? So long as this remains that, we, that we're in Udalan territory, we will never be free to act with impunity. Moving to our headquarters to Vesper Bay will only delay the inevitable. We have demonstrated our capabilities, and the Syndicate has taken note. They will not suffer our organization to remain independent now. We are far too dangerous for that. If Udala is no longer suitable, where would you have us go? Mordana. I forgot where that is. Remnant's told to be precise. It lies precisely within neutral territory and offers all of the essential facilities it require. By the way of additional benefit, it is also frequented by a veritable legion of adventurers who may serve to supplement our ranks. I am, of course, conscious of the fact that we have the point. Why are we listening to the 15-year-old? Like, the only thing that he has to say that's good to him is his, his fucking grandpa was a badass. Well, that was a long time ago, and it's not even you. But I truly believe to be, this, this, the, best, to be the best course of action. As yourself observed, we have invaluable ties to the local community, forged through years of concerted effort. Undala, Undala is our home, Alphanod. Uh, to cast aside everything we built to start anew in that desolate wasteland would be beyond reckless. True. The decision is yours to make. I ask only that you recall the shared purpose of which moved us to, and found the science, science of Seventh Dawn, and which uh, moved you to find the path of the Twelve ere that. We aspire to an ideal, you and I, just as my grandfather did. That makes us more than just comrades in arms. We're as much family as... That will be all, Alphanon. Oh, that's the guy's staff. I'm sure you have some fam familiar fears of, of your own to attend to. Oh yeah, what happened to his sister? Your consent is most generous, but no, I have left them in the hands of men better suited for that task than I. I could not very well allow my personal affairs to come before the needs of the Order, after all. So he said, fuck that bitch. Confound it. She knows what must be done, and set still she hesitates. All because of these fanciful rumors. I should explain. Milfina's mother, well, adoptive mother, was among the great many who perished during the Calamity. Uh, I don't know what that is. Was her name. And though you may know her better as the songstress of Udala, she was a performer of the singular talent and much beloved by the people of Eresia, not to mention a certain Shaurian mistral. As you may imagine, the news of her passing was greeted with shock and disbelief among her adoring followers, many of which refused to acknowledge what had happened, and the body was never found, only served to encourage speculation. Oh, like Elvis. Yeah, it, so it's like Elvis. It's Gilfina? God. Okay. Milfina, too, she struggled at first to accept the truth, but as her absence stretched from months into years, she saw that there could be no other explanation. Until recently, at any rate. For whatever reason, rumors have once again begun to circulate that her mother is alive and well. One of the informants, Father Iliad, has sent word to a woman matching the songstress's description has been seen of late in the seaside resort of Costa de Sol. Let us reconvene there and inquire with Master Gergerger uh, as the veracity of these rumors. Damn. 
Okay. So basically what we're doing here is we're looking for information about how to find Milfina's mom. Okay. I've got to ask her mom for permission to marry her. Don't cheat on your Shalada. Well, I just married both of them. What's wrong with that? I see you haven't had many grand adventurers since we last spoke. You must share them with me sometime. The girl from a little while ago. One does forget a perfume like that. One does not forget a perfume like that. So robust and intoxicating. Yes, simultaneously familiar. Reminiscent of a bloom native to these parts, in fact. I said as much whenever we spoke. She complimented my powers of observation and asked me where she might find some of the flowers. I told her to follow the road down south into Raincatcher Gully. The flowers which grow in the shade of the cliff have the strongest scent, you see. So if you make haste, you may still find her there. All right, we've got to go find this girl. Yeah, when's the MSQ recap? So basically, here's what happened. Is that Milfina doesn't want to move the base of the, uh, of the science of the Seventh Dawn. And the Redditor wants her to do it because he's using facts and logic. But she doesn't realize that. And so the Redditor has to use facts and logic to get her to realize that her mom isn't dead. Because she feels attached to that place because that's where her mom was at. And she thinks her mom is dead. That's what happened. Okay, that, that's the story. And so we're trying to find uh, that person. Wait, we found her already? And it's her adopted mother, not her actual mother. As you can see. I am in your debt, great stranger. I did not realize my activities had aroused the Gubu's ire until it was too late. Their oils can be used to make a perfume, you see. And I... Yo, bitch, what up? Flamen? I'm... I don't... Who are you? Who do you serve? Oh, shit. It appears that you've already found our woman. Consider me impressed, my friend. Oh, my God. He's been tracking us? The songstress of Udawa, I presume. Milfina, sh or should I say, Askilia, is looking for you. Who the fuck is Askilia? You are the very picture of health, my lady, and the world thinks you're dead. I can only conclude that this was by design. The question is why. Not everyone who endeavors to find me does so with the best intentions, child. You will be pleased to know that I fully intend to reveal myself to Milfina whenever the time is right. Oh well, this does please me. More than you know. But tell me, sojourns the forest of Nicostra aside, when exactly will the time be right? When I deem it so, do you imagine that I traveled all this way on a whim? As I was telling your associate prior to your intrusion, I came here to harvest these flowers to use in a perfume. Does that satisfy your curiosity? Or would I... T would you like to interrogate me further? Damn, dude, she's not having it. My apologies for the interruptions. Anyway, uh, now that we have all that we came for, we might continue with this conversation in a more safer locale. Wineport, you say? All right, yeah, Redditor got put in his place, dude. This is not at all how I envisioned it. I can scarce begin to imagine what emotions will go through Melfina's heart whenever she reunites with her mother after all of these years. You say my daughter awaits us in Vesper Bay, yes. I have kept her waiting long enough. Let us be off to the next ferry. I can finish fashioning the perfume along the way. Understood. Come with me. It would be my pleasure to escort you to the walking sands. Damn. Not only is he a Redditor, but he's a supreme gentleman, too. What a pimp. Okay. <laughs> he actually is a... <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? It teleported me right over there. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, and this is the one I need to do soon, too. Okay. Enter the solar. There she is. Nofina. Antecedent, you have a guest. Oh! Wow! Aww. Askilia. That's her real name. Damn! Aww. Aww, look at that, dude. I haven't seen her like this in years, Asmongold. We did it, boys. I never truly believed it when they told me you were dead, but what kept you away for so long? The Imperials came for me, and as I always knew they would, and so I resolved to stay as far away from you as I could, lest their pursuit of me endanger you to our cause. I could think of no better way than grant you the freedom to continue our work. And to continue what you did, achieving things that I would not have imagined possible. I followed your every success and celebrated in secret. I am so proud of you. Wow. I learned from the best. That's crazy. I have a gift for you. What is it? Is it chicken tenders? It's nothing. Celestia perfume, you remembered. 
How could I ever forget you worry all the time? If I ever lost sight of you, I could find you again just by following my nose. I did not think it was made by anyone. You must have gone through so much trouble. It was no trouble to me, my darling. I fear that I cannot say the same for Asmogold, however. I could not have made it without him. So, wait, I'm a simp now. I I'm going and I'm simping out for this girl, doing all the stuff for her. Thank you, Asmongold. Thank you both. Yes. Yes. There's something else. What is it? This is the cat's eye I found. All these years, you kept it. Aww, look at that, dude. My father was a member of the Alamegan Resistance. When I was yet a child, he brought me here to Udala. The incident which came to his life happened shortly after our arrival. It was uh, Gilfina who took me into them. She raised me as one of her own, taught me everything that I needed to know to survive. I'm no stranger to the facts of your history, yet I feel that I've failed to grasp your implications. It's clear that there is much that I do not know about you and your mother both. One of her first lessons to me concerning mining, and I was a very dedicated student. This cat's eye was the first stone I unearthed. It wasn't much, of course, but I was exceedingly proud to have found it nonetheless. So I gave it to Lamanan as a gift, and she said it was beautiful, but I am at a loss. Why are you returning this to me? Is there something amiss? No, Escalia, nothing is amiss. Quite the opposite. I need you to realize how far you've come and how much further you will still, must still go. You and your allies have accomplished more than I could have ever hoped. You have succeeded where I have failed, and you have made me so proud that words fail me. But even things, even as I marvel at the woman you've become, at all the things that you've done, I cannot think of that which you have yet to do, and of what it must entail. Askelia, daughter, you cannot stay here anymore. You and the Scions must leave Udala. Damn, she wants her to move out. You built it once, Askelia. You can build it again, and this time, we'll do it together. Oh, wow. That's crazy, truly. Wow. Aww. She's so happy. Alphanod, Alf the time has come for the Scions to leave Vesper Bay. Oh, damn. So the Redditor got what he wanted. We shall establish a new headquarters. Fuck yeah. So much work lies ahead of us. Inform our fellow Scions and send word to the students of Baldeon. Uh, preparations begin at once. Fuck yeah, dude. Damn. That's smart. Look at that. Dude, the Redditor, I mean, to be honest, he's pretty smart. He definitely is. Now what? Oh, he's going to get it on with his with her mom. That's good. The negotiations are concluded. Our friends at the Adventurers Guild have agreed to furnish us with new facilities and material support in exchange for our assistance in the ongoing defense and development of Revenant's Toll. Damn! That's pretty good. The Science of the Seventh Dawn shall have a new home in Mordana, the Rising Stones. Don't look at me, Thaladred. Fuck you. A bittersweet victory, if truth be told. I cannot deny that I had come to look forward to Taru's tales of many guests and their many, many demands. I do have news to share. In expectation of this momentous day, I personally inform the Alliance leaders of our plans, and they have each pledged their full support, General Raubon included. Moreover, I have decided that the time is right for us to cast off the vestiges of our Order's veil of secrecy and announce ourselves to the world. Oh, wow. Are you sure this is wise? If anything, it is a mere formality. Our existence is quite possibly the worst-kept secret in Aresia. Let us confirm our identity, or affirm our identity, proclaim our achievements, so that all may know what the Scions of the Seventh Dawn stand for. To you, my fellow Scions, I would say this. Prepare for the challenges which lie ahead, for they will be great indeed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Great. I say no greater than us, and we will rise to them, as have we time and time again, united as one. Fuck yeah, dude. So we're going to a different place. I always thought this place was a shithole anyway. Thank God. Yeah, this is great. I'm very happy about this. There might be some way I can't wait. Is that area to be rich in minerals? Maybe I should ask Philemon to teach me the basics in mining too. Fuck yeah. I would like you to deliver these documents to Slathborn. They concern our forthcoming move. Do take care on the road and represent us well, Asmongold. Okay. Slapborn would like to show you the scion soon to be honed in Revenant's Toll. This is where we're going to live now. 
Back to work of a dozen men, I see. Haha, <laughs> but I jest. Only eight men, actually. Uh, even I can appreciate the important man such as yourself has little time for menial tasks. Really? Okay, that's great. I'm sure I won't have to collect three rocks in the next expansion then. But since you're here, mayhap, you'd be keen to have a look around the Scion's new home. See that impressive structure over there? That's the place. Let's see it. That looks just like the... that... it's just another building. It was originally built to house a branch of the guild, you see. As such, it comes complete with a tavern where adventurers can come to rest from the road, fill their bellies with good food and drink, and their ears with tales of fortunes to be had about the realm. You may get a bit raucous at times, but I imagine it'll be good place as any to recruit capable men and women to your cause. Come with me, I'll show you around. Hello? Oh great, it's Tataru. Is that you? I was going twice hard to interrupt, I have most urgent news. We've received grim tidings from Gridania. It would appear that our aid is required at once. I must ask you to report back to the Waking Sands with all due haste. Is everything all right, friend? What? Who is this guy? Bro, this guy looks like a hipster Instagram influencer. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, it's fine, bro. I can't say I'm privy to the details, but it would appear that there's no time for a leisurely tour. But no worries. Rest assured that I'll see all the necessary arrangements. Pray return at any time. And you'll be seen to your more pressing matters. Where's Tataru? Oh yeah, I forgot. Tataru isn't really part of the Scions Guild. He's the he's the secretary, okay? Or she's the secretary. Because, you know, she's useless because she's a Lalafell. So unless we need to have something uh, picked up from underneath the table or something like that, there's really just not a lot of use for him. Uh, a messenger from the Twin Eider came to the Waking Sands while you were in Mordana. I wasn't privy to his conversation with the antecedent, but I did see the look on her face after she took his leave. Something is definitely amiss. Could it be that the Exile have summoned Garuda again? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, or mayhap Imperial forces have been slighted, sighted within Shroud. No, well, whatever it may be, I'm almost certain that it's nothing that you can't handle. Now go ask the ant to see if there's anything that you can do. We have reason to believe that another primal, or an entity resembling one, has summoned, has been summoned in Gridania. What? Oh, it's uber danger. Thine arrival is customarily timely, Asmongold. The etheric waves leave little room for doubt. Thy talents will be needed ere long. If there is truth in my suspicions, tis a familiar foe we face, though one unlike the Lady of the Vortex. We dare not draw conclusions without evidence, but as Uber Danger says, the readings bear a strong resemblance to the ones observed more than five years ago. Pray hasten to Gridania, Asmongold. Yida and Papa, um, Papa Rappa the Rapper, uh, will rendezvous with you here. May you walk in the light of the crystal. The other silence have already arrived, sir. May I show you in? Yes, please. Proceed to the Lotus Stand. Please, show me in. What does this be? Oh, is this the... Oh, this is the... Oh, wow. Wow, we've got all this... Oh, this is serious. We've got the flower girl here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What the fuck? Kupo Quap. Please, you have to stop them, but you mustn't kill them. They are not bad moogles, Kupo. They are just misguided and gentle. No, firm thrashing is in order. So they want me to firmly thrash their enemies. Calm yourself, Kulupo Kop. Could you see that he hasn't the faintest idea of what you're talking about? Be quiet this instant. Pray forgive his willless outburst, sister. Most grateful I am that you have come, Asmongold, and upon such a short notice. Truly, Gridania could not wish, wish for a more stalwart ally. But you are doubtless eager to know whence forth uh, you have been summoned. Uh, our friend Kupo Cop has brought us news of the most unsettling development. What's wrong? Did they run out of stuffing? It would seem that the good, the good king Mogul Mog the Seventh has returned to Aurizia. A curious thing to hear, I know. Truth to tell, I cannot I cannot myself say if he is a genuine figure from history or some manifestation of Mughal mythology. Kupla would have me believe the former. Once upon a time, we Mughals served the gods in the heavens. It was quite nice up there, unspeakably beautiful, unimaginably spacious, and with endless, literally endless supply of wine, Kupo. In spite of this, or possibly because of the last part, the gods eventually became discontented and started squabbling, which made life jolly difficult for the poor Mughals. So good King Mughal Mog the Seventh, may his glorious name live forever, decreed that the time had come to leave Kupo. The man of re the realm of man would suffice, he said, so all Mughals shall live there instead. So they literally left heaven on purpose? Man, these guys are stupid. Why would you do that? 
Unfortunately, the two realms are so far apart that we couldn't safely fly down. But good King Mughalmog, may his miraculous foresight ever be praised, knew exactly what to do, Kupo. He had a rope, you see, and the longest one ever woven. And he nobly held while his subjects climbed all the way down to the world below. And it's how we Mughals came to this land, Kupo. All of us except good King Mogulmog VII. May his courageous sacrifice never be forgotten. He alone would remain in the heavens so that Mughal kind may, might at last know peace. Except that, there is not except that he has not remained in the heavens. And from what I understand, that is your reason for contacting us, yes? Oh, shit. She put her hands together like she's going to beat the fuck out of him, man. Uh, I bet he tied the rope to something. Good thinking. Remind me again what the problem was with him returning to Aresia? The problem, Yida, lies in the fact that he was summoned. It is our belief that good King Mughalmog is a myth made manifest via means akin to those employed by the beast tribes in summoning of their gods. So this Mughal is a primal. So you're saying that a handful of Mughals with a boatload of crystals wished really, really hard, and he sort of appeared. Would that even work? Yeah, of course it does. Haven't you read the Bible? Whoever or whatever the king may be, it is our belief that he poses a threat to not only Mughal kind, but to Gridania as a whole. Thus, we do beseech you, Asmigold, confront good King Mughalmog VII and drive him from our midst. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of that stuffed animal, man. Oh. Oh my god. Don't you dare lie to me, Kupo. I know what you're planning and I won't allow it. Open your eyes, Kupo. The king will never be satisfied, no matter how many crystals you bring him. Wait, yo, I didn't, I, I didn't mean to take out my axe. Like, yo, chill. We offered you a choice, and this is how you repay us, by consorting with us higher. Imperials, Gridanian, Sylphs, you're no different than the rest of them. Actually, you're worse, Kupo. Traitor to the kins, Moogles. He plots treason against the crown. What the fuck? Enough. Kupo Cock will answer for his crime soon enough. And all will who defy the goodwill of good king Mogul Mog the Seventh. May he reign forevermore, Kupo. What is this? Scientology? What the fuck is going on? This is not good. The king is planning to purge the Twelve's Wood of its enemies, Kupo. We've got to stop him before it's too late. King Mughalmog. Your reign of terror is over. The bloodshed must come to an end. Death and destruction is no place in Aresia. Your reign of terror is over. Now what do I have to do? Mughal's guard to arms. Defend the king, Kupo. What the fuck? That's oh, just one guy. Okay, so we go in and we just get him. Okay. Oh, bro, he's getting destroyed. He's getting wrecked. Oh my god, this is not even... What is this? Is it over? This is a joke. What an easy get. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. All right, two of them. Two of them. I see how it is. It's fine. It's no big deal. All good to me. Completely good to me. It's fine. Just two mobs at a time. No reason to stress. No reason to worry. A good player like me never worries about things like that. Okay. Go uh, charge over there. Pick that guy up. Pick this guy up right here. Okay, there we go. I'll pick up both of them. Might as well. Okay, good. Good. Okay, I've got to watch out for that. Oh, he taunted the other one off me. That's fine. Facing this guy away. This is easy, bro. This is easy, bro. Look at this damage. Dude, my damage is nuts. Okay, let's go into the middle so we can get over to the other ones faster. Okay, there it is, right there in the middle. Oh, look at the- these guys are getting destroyed! March of the Mooglies, you're not even gonna cast the ability, you're gonna die! I'm gonna choke. Wait, why are they all resurrected? No. No, 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 no. 
Are you kidding me? Is this no, this is not real life. No way, bro. What is this? Oh my god. Okay. What the fuck? I don't know how I got gripped in for that. I'm not sure. Wait, there's actual there's vocals for this? Oh my god. Okay, we're killing these guys here. That's great. That guy's dead. Okay, let's move out of that. We have a Venn diagram of getting fucked in the ass. Move out of that. Move out of this. Okay. Oh my god. Look at all these... This is disgusting. I, I, I feel disgusting. I'm just... I'm so taken aback by this whole thing. Hearken to me, Moogle's guard. Oh, we're killing him. We got his ass. Easy, dude. Fucking easy. So fucking easy, dude. You did it, Koopo. You did it. Good King Mooglemog the, the seventh. May his mighty soul rest in peace is no more. I shudder to think about what would have happened if had you not stopped the Moogle's guard whenever you did. Thank you, Asmongold. Perhaps now they'll come to their senses and stop playing with fairy tales. Rest assured that the chieftain will have choice words for them, too. You should go and tell Pumpkin Packy that the king is no more, Koopo. She's with Rayo in Camp Tranquil. All right, let's do that. Asmongold, you are returned to us unharmed and victorious. Thus, I have two reasons to be glad. Well, thus there are two reasons it happened. No scaling and also the echo. Yet, the many questions remain unanswered. If you would be so kind to oblige me, I would fain hear all that occurred in Thornmarch. Then it is as we feared. The king really is a primal. But he really isn't, is he? I mean, the Mughals don't worship him. For one thing, he isn't even a god to them. That doesn't sound like any primal I've ever heard of. This may have the fault lies with definition. The fact lies that through a combination of the power contained in the crystals and the force of their collective faith, the Mughals called forth a being that by rights should not exist. Moreover, when slain, said to being left with no corpse, the Aether which comprised him instead of just being scattered to the four winds. According to this accepted definition, he may not be a primal, but the mode of his manifestation was in every respect the same. Askeetians. This whole business reeks of their handiwork. The Askeetians, guys, for anybody who forgot, they are the Illuminati. My heartfelt thanks, Asmongold. Already, the information you have provided has proven invaluable. The Grand Serpent Marshal and I have so much to discuss. Oh, before you do, my lady, I was hoping that we could finish discovering that other matter. The matter of which you speak has now been settled. The Scions shall not want for support. We shall be glad to send additional supplies to Revenant's Toll. We knew we could count on you, my lady. Wow, they're going to send us free stuff. I guess they must be streamers. While Yida and I remain to discuss the particulars of our arrangement with Elder Sinseer, may I happy you return to the Waking Sands and appraise the antecedent of all that's transpired. We have to go back and talk to Milfina. The time has come at last to leave Vesper Bay, and Milfina would appraise you of the final details of the move. It seemed only right that I should be the last to leave, and I would have you remain with me until the end, Asmongold. Uber Danger shall remain here and devote his energies to studying the nature of the primals. By the grace of the Twelve, he will one day discover a permanent solution uh, that we have all sought for so long. Speaking of Uber Danger, would you inquire of him of any tasks that remained undone? Okay, let's talk to him. Ah! Wait, what? Whence came that cry? The Solar, Twelve Fourth Ren, the Antecedent. Wait, what the hell is going on? Yeah, I'll take care of it. I'm good. 
No, dude. No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Asmongold? You must. What the fuck happened? What is this? Okay, she's just doing her books. That's very nice. It's very relaxing. Okay, good. Tell me, Luiso, would you have done the same? Luiso Livemar was a remarkable man, wise beyond mortal measure. Would that I had met him prior to his passing. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, shit. It's the Illuminati. An Eskishan here, how? How readily you see, you are indeed gifted, antecedent. But you are not like the others, your robes. Gifted, but ignorant. Yet I shall not judge you harshly. The fault lies with your forebearers. It is millennia. Mine are the robes of an emissary. Unlike he who came before, I have no quarrel with you. What the fuck? He who? You speak of La Brea. La Brea is a warrior. He fought, he fell. He may yet learn from his mistakes. Then he's still... Yeah, he's still alive, bro. Of course he's alive. I, come, I can only confirm that which you already know. There is no cessation, no oblivion, only expulsion. You, what are... Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? What? You're not going to tell me the Lala fellow has been in on this. No, we're ready whenever you are, my lady, if there's nothing else. Are you stupid? Are you fucking stupid? He's right there! She can't see him? Wait, what? What? I feel the same way. After everything that's happened here, it feels strange to leave, but I'm sure that we'll soon get used to Revenant's toll. I'll let you say your goodbyes. Take as long as you like, my lady. We shall depart whenever you're ready. There's only to be expected. She lacks the gift of knowledge. Both to her. We are indistinct. I do not understand. Shadowless. Fleshless. Formless. What truth there is in each tale is diluted by time and telling. Knowledge dictates expectation, and expectation colors perception. Thus she did perceive, perceive not. So it is with all chosen few, even you when young, could not see, not yet see with your eyes unclouded. You know nothing of me. Nothing. The gift grants you clarity, it grants you focus, and with it you may come in time to see us what we are, rather than this crude approximation. Wait, they want her to join the Assetians? Lahabrea did not think so highly of the Echo. Lahabrea is wrong about a great many things. The Echo is an indeed a gift, albeit one that you have yet to master. And if I did, there would be no strife between our peoples, for we would be one of mind. Wait, what? I leave as I came in peace, antecedent. May we remain, remain again as friends. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, stay where you are. Ah! Why is she in charge? It's like every five cutscenes with her, it ends with her laying on the ground or recovering from an ass beating. She's hot? Yeah, I think that's true. That's a good point. Mayhap I was indelicate to some mercy. She shields her children from his grace with such resolve. Was it also by, also by your hand that I survived the ardor, I wonder? Okay, he just teleports away. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Groan. I take it there's no need to explain. That's true. Very true. Save your concern. He did me little lasting harm. Whatever his intention was, it was not to kill. Oh, great. I heard a cry. What happened? Are you all right? You look faint. Do you need to lie down? I could fetch you a flask of my special tonic. Uber danger. Send word to the students of Baldesion. Tell them to scour the archives of forbidden tomes in particular. If there is any reference to an Eskishan robed in white, however oblique, I would want to know of it. 
An Askeetian, my lady. What was it that gave you the cause to cry out? It was obviously a Askeetian. What do you mean? I did, but moments ago, a glimpse of a future Chad in white set forth from the waking sands. Yet Askeetians are, are wont to employ teleportation magics. Why would one be so brazen? I know not and care not. Find him, Asmogold. Turn every stone in Vesper Bay if you have to. Okay. I can do that. So we have to find this guy who's been teleporting into Milfina's room. Wait, where is he then? Oh, uh, I'm told that you are the warrior of light, but I would know for myself. He's just right here. Okay. I shall walk north and you may choose to follow. No, however, that you will be waylaid if you do. You may even perish. Should you survive, we shall speak anon. What the fuck? Okay, follow the white robe decision. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go talk to this one here. There we go. You are being judged. Oh, I see that. What the fuck? Okay, let me kill these guys here. There's a lot of these mobs. Oh, he's casting Blizzard. Uh-oh. It's, it's not working. It's not doing anything. Yeah, I, I just... Uh, apparently, like, there people are, are walking out and, like, leaving Blizzard, and they're just fucking tired of it, man. I, I'm not surprised. I, I really am not. I, I, I think that that's a good thing. People should, uh, you know, they, they shouldn't put up with that bullshit. Especially after all the posturing they've done, you know? Uh, it's too fucking much. Okay, where's the guy? I have to kill the gruesome gargoyle. Holy shit. Okay, let's kill this guy. Easy, easy, easy. They said no one left. Blizzard's not working. I mean, they used to work. I know this sounds crazy, but Blizzard employees used to actually work and do their jobs. It was a long time ago. A uh, very, very long time ago. But uh, there was once upon a time where uh, they would they would make video games and then go to work and, uh, you know, everything was okay. Yeah, it was a, quite a while ago. Okay, where's the last one? Wait, double gargoyles? Holy fuck. Okay, all right, let's deal with this. Pop both of these guys. Pop some CDs, too. Do as much damage as we can just to kill these guys as fast as possible. I feel like these mobs aren't really that hard to kill. Yeah, this isn't that bad at all. Okay, we got it. Great. Okay, let's keep going over here and talking to him. Okay, we're going to talk to the white robe that's Cishan. What do you want, bitch? Remarkable. Truly remarkable. I thank you for granting me this indulgence. None who have bested La Brea could endure such examination. Yeah, that's right. You bore witness to my audience with the antecedent, did you not? Then you know that I only acted in self-defense. I realize the same cannot be said of La Brea. Even amongst his brethren, he is considered unique. Nevertheless, I cannot wholly condemn his mind seeds, for though... Uh, for, for though through them we discovered you, one so strong in the gift that he could cast us out. So I alone can defeat the Illuminati. I am Alex Jones. Her mother favors you still, that much is plain, but surely you must feel it. Her influence wanes and her strength shall soon be spent. These lands, these people, this world, all shall soon change. And as it was, it shall be again, and as it always have been. Doubt my claims and question my motives if you will. Only believe me when I say this. I am Oedipus, emissary, bearer of the word of the one true God, and we shall meet again. Oh, that's really cute. He gave me the smile. Aw, oh, that's, that's adorable. All right, we gotta go talk to Milfina again. Thank the gods you've returned, Asmogold. After you left, I began to worry that they've sent you to your doom. I take it our visitor proved elusive. Beg pardon, he was waiting for you. What did you do? What did he say? As it was, so shall it be again. What does he speak, and of what exactly? The words of Aridius portend much and reveal nothing, save perhaps a measure of disdain for La Brea. I had hoped for answers, but it seems like I have to be content with a wealth of additional questions. Okay. So we are discovering the secrets of the Illuminati. Let us set aside the matter of this Askeetian until we have completed our, our move to the Rising Stones. There is but one final favor I would ask you of you before I depart. I believe I mentioned before that my father was a member of the Alamegan Resistance. The truth, however, is more complicated than that. As far as the Empire knew, he was their spy. He maintained deception on Nye for half a decade, furnishing the Resistance with vital Imperial secrets while feeding his paymasters subtly concealed misinformation. 
When he died some so 15 years ago, my father left behind his journal, which I have closely guarded ever since. It contains every shred of information he and his agents could steal on what they believe to be the single greatest threat to Aresia, the primals. Its wisdom has guided me through the years, and there is much to uh, much within that I still do not understand. It is my hope that Uber Danger will fare better. Tell him to treat it with care. It is all I have left of my father. The legacy of Milfina's father, who perished in the parade incident of 1562, when a gubu broke free of its magical fetters and ran a monk through the streets of Udala, contains a wealth of stolen imperial research. So this guy was killed by a gubu. The father's final bequest, the daughter's lifelong labor. It is no small thing to surrender such a cherished memento. Well, can I imagine the antecedent's pain? Upon my horror, I swore to spare no effort to study these materials, lest my lady's sacrifice be in vain. Hello? Asmongold, this is Milfina. I'm in the other room, but I thought I would call you on the cell phone instead of actually just walk over there like a normal person. Forgive me, but I could not wait. Oh, I departed the Rising Stones. Oh, she left. Okay. If you have yet to, once you get, once you have the journal to Uber Danger, I bid that you come to the Seventh Heavens and Revenant's Toll. Tataru will be there to show you inside of our new headquarters. Assuming you have already attuned to it, you may wish to make use of our new Aetherite in Revenant's Toll. After all, it is right at our doorstep. Okay, makes sense. Let's go back over here, talk to her. Oh, Asmongold, you're here. Good God, we were all wondering whenever you'd show up. As I was just telling your restive uh, receptionist here, I am pleased to inform you that all the documents have been prepared and all the signatures signed. The Rising Stones is officially yours. Aww. Aww, look at that, dude. Splendid. From this day forward, we will spare no effort in seeing that it is welcoming and comfortable home for us here in the Waking Sands as ever. That said, this is all somewhat intimidating, is it not? So many unfamiliar places, so many unfamiliar faces. Rest assured that this receptionist will work just as hard to see as our efforts do not skip a beat despite this relocation. And with that, Asmongold, I do believe that it's time that you officially announced your presence to everyone inside. The antecedent and the others will be surely overjoyed to see you. Alrighty, boys. Let's see it. Okay, so we'll go back over here. And where is it? How does this work? Oh, this is it. This says no entry because this is Scion business only. That's what it says. Oh, wow. Bro, this place is way... Um, Sean has first wealth new tomes. Uh, wait, that's it? That's it? Oh, come on. All right, yeah, Josh Toll is here, obviously. And then, okay, we've got the Redditor here who's not able to go inside. That's good. Now what? Okay, let's talk to her right now. Oh, wow. That's everybody. Oh, fucking Thaladred. Oh, great. Just what I wanted to see. Just the person I was so happy to see. Well, it's certainly spacious. Yeah, it certainly is. Okay. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. And then there's that guy's staff. Today marks a new beginning for the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. For today, we declare our independence. The fuck? Well, our independence? Is this how America was formed? Hell yeah! All right. We shall henceforth be beholden to no nation and serve all of Aresia's people proudly and openly. But this does not mean that we will sever our ties with the Aresian Alliance. On the contrary, the antecedent and I will, en will endeavor to strengthen them. Rest assured, however, that we will not permit polit political considerations to influence our decision. That's how you know it's Final Fantasy. Our identity remains unchanged, as does our cause. We are the science of the Seventh Dawn, and our single purpose is to safeguard the future of Aresia. Yay. We're good boys. For Aresia. Woohoo! Wow, wee. Great. Yeah, get out of here. Pardon the intrusion, my lady, but the matter which bringeth me will admit no delay. Mine every attempt to contact the students of Baldessian hath been met with science. No one will respond. How odd. Allow me to try. 
She's calling a customer service hotline and spamming zero, so she's automatically sent to a customer service agent. No response. Surely they would not ignore us. Oh, actually, never mind. Wrong number. They've never yet, my lady. I fear that we must assume the worst. No, I will not believe it. An outpost, perhaps, but not their headquarters. The wards are beyond circumvention. Had they come under attack, they would most certainly have raised an alarm. None could penetrate their sanctum unnoticed. But those who lack the gift and knowledge of both. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Nabralis. Your intercession was not foretold. Oh, shit. You object. We question. Our plans are in motion. Your intentions unclear. They survived the seventh Alderaan and are stronger now in the gift. Does that not intrigue you? No, it does not. Serve as you will. So shall I. We labor not at cross purposes. His wisdom, the wisdom of his plan shall become apparent in time when the veil is lifted from their eyes. And at long last, they will see. What the fuck? Bro, the Illuminati's wildin', man. Oh my god. What is this? Milfina has a new assignment for me. Thank god. What shall I do? Truly, there is no rest for the weary. Scarce had I begun to make myself at home whenever I received a request for assistance from Amanjala and Sun's Mineral Concern. It would appear that our storehouse on the horizon is the target of a series of covert robberies. Minor as they seem in isolation, occasional discrepancies in the manifest were long dismissed as clerical errors. It was only during the Concern's annual audit that a pattern became apparent. Significant quantities of crystals, and only crystals, were missing. I need hardly tell you what that may imply. Let me guess. Another fucking primal. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Pray depart for the horizon at your earliest convenience. Rendezvous with Yashlata whenever you arrive. She and Thaladred will have already begun a preliminary investigation. What do we have to do here? Oh, hello there, Asmongold, was it? Yashlata said to expect you. Terrible business, these thefts. We have yet to confirm the quantity of crystals stolen, but I dare say it be greater than... Ah, but never mind that. I have news to share. A short while ago, the driver of a heavily laden carriage refused to halt for inspection and broke through one of the checkpoints on the Royal Allegan Sunway. The car bolted off towards western, th towards western Thalanan, where, thank the gods, I hear that our colleagues were able to apprehend them without further incident. A speeding carriage? That would seem a choice, uh, a curious choice for sieves of such proven cunning. Yet the Amanjawa do have a foothold in eastern Thalanan. Hmm. And what of our cargo? Did they carry the crystals that we seek? We should be receiving a, remote, a report any moment now, but I fail to see what else could. What do you want, Fupa Lupa? What's going on? Oh no. It's Thaladred. Did you miss me, friends? I'm back, but I fear I come bearing disappointing news. On second thought, perhaps it's good news after all. Thaladred, where have you been off to? I figured you had everything under control here, so I just took a brief excursion to the east to check up on our Al Amanjala friends. And, I, and you wouldn't believe it. It happened to be on a runaway carriage on this way, and even and even was able to do my small part to help my friends in a brass blades intercept it. In all my years, I have never seen such a prodigious quantity of Samus. The blades were calling at one of the greatest halls they'd ever seen. The stolen crystals, on the other hand, were nowhere to be found. That means we've got another primal, boys. Is that so? Last, we have no choice but to continue our resume our search elsewhere. Another fucking primal. We should reassess our options well. Come with us, Asmongold. Now then. Oh. Oh. Tis I. The situation may be more complicated than we anticipated. Oh, really? I was about to say, I thought that was a whole cinematic. Like, Indeed. we got. I shall remain watchful. Wait, I don't remember ever hearing Uber Danger. This is him. Ere thou goest, another matter requireth thine attention. A young maiden, full eager to... It feels so normal for him to, to just hear him talk, but whenever I have to read it, I just feel like an idiot. Wherefore inquirest thou of her fairness? Okay, oh, never mind. Very well. Be she damsel or devil, I shall direct her steps to... Yeah, never mind. Toe. 
save thine insinuations for one given to such impropriety, mm -hmm. thou shalt not find me amenable. Okay, now what? Who the fuck are these guys? It's Sheik! Oh my god, Far those are ears. The sea from the land of Domar have we traveled. We seek audience with the ruler of these lands. Who here speaks for you? Uh, me. I do. Uh, I don't know. It's not me. Uh, what? Okay. It matters not how many times you ask. Without the necessary permissions, none shall pass. Perry, understand, good sir. We have not the leisure to lodge a formal petition. Time is of the essence. All I ask is you summon your superior. Allow me to plead my case. Surely you can grant us with a small kindness. Away with you. You will darken these doors no longer. I will not ask again. Wait, is that a girl or a guy? Is that a guy or a girl with a beard? You know not what to do. Yeah, I guess it's got to be a guy. That makes sense. Okay, now what? I gather your pleas fell upon deaf ears. A loyal man with a cold heart. I know his kind well. I hope that you will find me more to your liking, Alpha Nod Levinor, at your servants, a friend. Which, I believe, makes us very unique. In this part of the world, very at least. Few indeed are your allies in Undala, yet you will need some kind if you wish to endear yourselves to the wealthy and powerful. Pray join me and my associate at the quicksand, and you may explain your situation to us, and we shall see if there is aught that we can do to help. Okay. So we're going to help him out. That's fine, my lady. We have traveled some several thousand malms across the sea from the nation of Doma. What the fuck is a malm? In hopes that we might find sanctuary in these lands. Okay. Sanctuary, Lady Yugiri. I'm not gonna try to say that. I, lying within. It's a mile. Doma oh. was under the dominion of the Galian Empire, as I'm sure you are aware. Yes. When the War of Succession broke out in Galamard, we aspired an opportunity to free ourselves from the yoke of imperial oppression and took up arms. Damn, savage. Only to be crushed. <sighs> And so I gathered what few domans escaped the reckoning and guided them hither to your shores. Mm -hmm. A war of succession? Then the Emperor. Forgive me. The you fuck's said going that on? Doma was under imperial rule, did you not? We did say that. Doma is gone. Raised to the ground as an example to the other provinces. Damn. So they blew up their home. Oh my god. That's sad. Twelve have mercy. And your people. Yeeted and deleted. On a ship anchored in Vespa Bay. Oh, never mind. Flying borrowed colors. Yeah, never mind. Many were complicit in the rebellion, or are kin to those who were. Damn. They will not come ashore until I send word that it is safe to do so. That's smart, actually. I sought an audience with your rulers, but was summarily refused. It's because I'm not going to make that joke. Never mind. The lords of Ulda are not wont to entertain because she's wearing purple, guys. Without suitable encouragement. Yes. Mayhap I was foolish to expect otherwise, but our supplies run low, and we have young ones in urgent need of care. Damn, that's sad. I have seen the tents outside the gates. However, we are not the first to seek asylum, nor will we be the last. Well, we don't know if she's even hot yet. Okay, like we're not going to. Listen, we're not gonna- this is not our wife. We don't even know what she- she could have, she could have leprosy. That's why she's got all that shit on. Wait, uh, no, we're not doing that. She is? Nah, bro. We'll, we'll see, okay? We'll see. I already have two wives in this game already. I don't know if I need three. Actually, I do. Your tale would stir the hearts of many men and women here. Yes. True. The Sultana and the Syndicate will not be so easily swayed. But I shall see that you are granted an opportunity to plead your case. I don't know how, like, guys lost that, you know? Because, like, you think about it, as a guy, like, what is it, wouldn't, like, if you have three wives, that's either the best thing ever or the worst thing ever, depending on the wives. 
And, like, now, like, you can't do that anymore. Uh, yeah, it, it's not a, yeah, you can't do that anymore. Like, how did we lose out on that, guys? I don't know when this, w when the gravy train stopped, but, yeah, what is this? Christianity. So, Jesus is cucking me, is that right? It wouldn't be the first time. The Sultana and the Syndicate would not be so easily swayed. Okay, yes. Got it. This is within your power? Yes. He is a master well, manipulator. Far be it from me to boast, but I do have the ear of certain influential individuals. I am in your debt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lady Yugiri, forgive me for observing, but your choice of attire seems like to evoke feelings of mistrust. He's trying to get her to take off her clothes? So he calls her Milady. And then inside of the same sentence wants her to take off her clothes. Bro, this guy is... If this was a comment on Reddit, it would get gold, okay? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Men are wont to fear the unfamiliar. We know this from experience. True. We seek only to spare the people of Uldar unnecessary disquiet. Yes. I shall defer to your experience, then. I thank you for your understanding. Uh-huh. This is... Okay. It seems I have urgent business with the Flame General. I leave our guests in your capable hands. Yes. I'll do what I must. I'll do what I need to. I'll do what I have to. She's not- yeah, wait, yeah, she's not taking her clothes off and he dips out. That's actually true. Wait, what the fuck? I'm like, that's- yeah, think about that. Like, the moment- yeah. He's like, oh no, you're not gonna do it? Alright, yo, I gotta go. Uh, if I may stir, as I said earlier, we've been at sea for some several moons and our supplies are all but spent. I have not the heart to repeat the tales of our tribulations, nor would it please me to have you listen to them. Suffice to say, however, I think sacrifices have been made. Though it shames me to beg for more than what you have sufficiently offered, much desperation compels me. Desperate sir, gentle sir. I am, I am a supreme gentle sir, I'll have you know. Uh, if you or your associates could spare any provisions, anything at all, it would go a long way to lessen the sufferings of my people. Let's go back over to here. All right. A wealthy merchant and his entourage just came to have a banquet here on Mars Sea, but just sent word that they can't come, meaning I've got a boatload of foodstuffs and no one to feed. Best of all, they paid for the lot in advance. Ha ha. Damn, okay. That's great. Well, let's just go get the free fucking food. There's the letter right there. You think I'm lying? You know, you shouldn't encourage them like this. They'll start to expect it, mark my words. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. True. Ah, I dared hope not for, for such magnanimity. Much less expected. Mistress Mamodi is generous indeed. I shall be sure to thank, thank her most humbly. Look who it is. Lady Guri, I, I breathe the flame general on your situation. Do you think... I, I think you will be pleased with his reply. We have been granted an audience? No, you're going to jail. <laughs> Uh, before the Sultana and the Syndicate both, we will return to the Loyal Promenade at once. Wow. You've done much for us, Master Alphanod. I swear that we shall return the favor. Damn, dude. Look at that. Uh, not his owed, Lady, uh, Lady Naguri. For naught has been given. The small favor for you is fairly won by, with your words. And with words, you must win the favor of the Syndicate. That I, then I will choose them with care. Damn, look at them all. Damn. They're all sitting there waiting. I, Yugiri of Doma, am honored to meet you at last, Your Grace. To mark this auspicious occasion, I should like to present to you the finest treasures our humble nation has to offer. Ah, uh, finest treasures? What is this? Alas, the circumstances which have brought me here today have divested me of both time and dignity. Okay. I come before you as a pauper in direst need of aid to request that you grant my people asylum. So we have to give them asylum? What is this? I, Nanama, 17th in the line of Ku, welcome you to our city. Be at ease, Lady Yugiri. Oh my god. 
I just, I cannot, man. I just cannot. Like, this is the one thing. Like, to be honest, guys, I got over the cat girl thing really quick. But this one is just, it's really hard for me. I, I don't know what to say. Although I myself have heard the tale of your misfortune, I would ask that you recount it once more for the benefit of the others here present. Uh-huh. As you wish, Your Grace. For many years, my nation, Doma, suffered under the yoke of imperial rule. Well, shit. And my people yearned to be free. Okay. Thus, when a war of succession broke out in Garlemald, we sought to take advantage of the chaos and reclaim our liberty. That's good. That's very good. All right. Alas, our enemy proved less preoccupied than we had <laughs> hoped, and our rebellion was put down in the most brutal fashion. Fuck. That sucks. Those who survived, how many do they number? More than 200 souls huddle within the cramped confines of our own galleon's hold. Yet this figure accounts for but one of a number of ships which escaped the purge. That's a lot of fucking people. It is my hope that you will allow us all to dwell within your rules. Should that prove unfeasible, however, I humbly ask that you accept as many of my people as your resources allow. Wow. That's a lot. He's like, fuck. Pray understand, we do not beg a boon, but propose instead an arrangement. Okay. We would serve as soldiers or tradesmen until our debt is repaid. That's good. Slavery. What are the syndicate's opinions on this matter? Who the fuck are the syndicate? I, for one, think it's a marvelous idea. Oh my they god. We've got Benjamin Button. And there are parts of the city which have yet to be fully restored. If they are willing to work, I see no reason not to let them. True. True. I agree. That said, these are foreign refugees. To admit them would require a formal resolution. Shall we call a vote? Why would they vote? I thought that they were, uh, like, voting. What is this, real life? Like, shouldn't the king just decide everything and nobody gives a fuck? A vote? Okay. The law is the law. Oh my god. Tell me, are you blind or willfully ignorant? Even now, our streets are choked with the displaced victims of the Calamity and Alamegan refugees. True, yeah, they've already got their own fucking problems. Very true. They live hand to mouth, subsisting on aid provided by the immortal flames. The cost of true grows ever higher. True. Preach it, brother. The wealth of Ulda is not without limits, my friends. True. And need I remind you that these refugees are prone to violence and criminal activity? You have all read the reports, I think. I think I've heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Without homes or employment, it is only a matter of time before men grow desperate and take that which they imagine has been unjustly denied them. Yet, oh, knowing shit. this, you would have us swell their ranks. Mayhap you think the brass blades and the flames are not hard pressed enough? That's a good point. It's a very good point. Super, thanks for 10 subs. Alden, Thank you. Trading company passes Gil thrice daily. This may explain how he came to be the wealthiest man in Uldar. Or it may simply be that he's ruthless beyond reckoning. All he wants to do is make Uldar great again. That's all. Build a wall to keep the cat girls out. And we'll deal with our own goddamn problems. I get it. He's too based. Yeah, obviously that's what it is. Surely the Sultanate can support the few hundred domains Lady Yugiri represents. True. That our resources have been taxed, I do not deny. But we are hardly in danger of financial collapse. How do you know that? You're five years old. I move that an exception be made. Okay. An exception, Your Grace? I am suddenly reminded of a similar debate some years ago. Regarding a number of Alamegan refugees, if memory serves. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What now, Princess Potato? Huh? What were your words that day? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. 
The law is the law. And so our visitors remained in Little Alamigo. Yep. Mayhap our wise and benevolent Sultana would be so good as to enlighten us as to which other of our laws should not be upheld. Damn, bro. This guy's a fucking pimp, dude. He's just like, he's got his arms crossed. Like, look, I don't even need, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say what it is, man. This guy is more red pilled than anybody. This is crazy. This guy's brutal. He's coming out. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's true. Lord. I share your concern True. for the welfare of our yeah. nation. Yeah. We'll throw you in a garbage can. Endeavor to take a longer view. You know as well as I that people can be a resource still more precious than you. I think that's going to be a hard sell. Precious or not, they were never yet so reliable. Mm -hmm. And unlike those who frequent your establishment, I have no desire to gamble with my future. Damn, Dorito. Dorito's greatest asset is and has ever been her material wealth. We risk this at our peril. So we've got to keep, we have to keep the refugees out. What could we do to keep the refugees out? Maybe what we could do is we could build something that's very, like a, because like it would be hard. <laughs> it would be hard for them to maybe get over it, you know, because it would have to be a really big you know, like a wall of fell. Oh, come on! One need only look to Teleji Adeleji's example for evidence of the danger in allowing sentiment to dictate policy. Okay. How far the vaunted Mirage have fallen, both in repute and profitability, since he began employing refugees. Oh man! Damn! How I choose to conduct my affairs is not your concern, my lord. Damn. A proposal has been tabled. Bro, the Walla fellow is just fuck it, yeah. We forego further debate and call Business duel? I can see that. Alright, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a vote. To accept the Doman refugees or not. Those in favor, I bid you remain. Those opposed, I bid you leave. Okay. Damn. Damn, he's walking it out. Oh my god. Wait. Damn. All of them left. Oh my god. Aw, oh, shit. That's the way it goes. It were within my power to welcome you and your people, Lady Yugiri. As you have observed, however, my authority in such matters is regrettably limited. Yeah, that's what you get whenever you're Princess Potato. Remember how he put her on his arm like a little parrot? Like, that was the funniest thing of the whole game, man. Like, and like, I think that, yeah, that was the funniest thing. He put her on an arm like a parrot, and she was like talking to everybody. That shit was funny. Without the consent of the Syndicate, I cannot act. Damn. I understand, Your Grace. And I appreciate all that you have done on our behalf. So the Wallafell actually won. Wow. The nerve of the man. If that bastard had not forsaken the eastern trade route, little Alamigo would now be thriving. Now how about that? Oh, that you should have traveled so far under such dire circumstances only to be refused in this manner is utterly unconscionable. Pray. Accept my sincerest apologies. Damn. That is sad. Now that the Empire no longer poses an immediate threat, they see little reason to maintain the pretense of unity. Damn. That's brutal. The monitorists have grown especially defiant of late. Lord Lolorito most of all, but this is neither the time nor place for that discussion. Okay. So we got to talk to his ass. We got we to gotta get to the bottom of this situation. There it is. Yeah. Syndicate has spoken, and I see no point in moving the matter to be reconsidered. The monetarists have made their position clear. Agreed, Hudawa is not an option. Nor Lisa Laminsa or Gridania. 
Uh, I judge, given the state of their internal affairs, which leaves our domain friends confined to a ship, gods, the thought of them huddled in that airless hold with no hope of better treatment. Would that I have met her time to find an alternative, a place not bound by the concerns of great nations. Why can't they go live on the moon? We can't have them live on the moon. Milfina, this is precisely what I wanted to discuss. I understand the Syndicate's decision, I do. We all wish to preserve, uh, preserve that which is ours, especially whenever we believe it to be under siege. But I cannot meekly accept this judgment, not while my people suffer. Would it be out of the question to substantiate and accept this for a limited time, a week mayhap, maybe even just a few days? Excellent, I shall keep you informed. They just extended my car's long-term insurance policy. The headquarters of my order, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, stands in a place called Revenant's Toll, an outpost in Mordana. Like all outposts, it's frequented by mercenaries and other men of action and lacks the comforts of a more established settlement. However, the leaders of Revenant's Toll have been doing their utmost to change that. To that end, they have need of able-bodied individual willing to work as frontier hands hard labor. Damn, this is some indentured servitude shit we got going on here. Oh my god. You know, my, my great-great-grandfather, or it might be great-great-grandfather, literally came over from Ireland on a potato ship, and they sent his ass back. Back in, like, you know, the 1800s or some shit, because they said he couldn't fucking do anything. And then they had to send him back again to America whenever he was 12 uh, to, to come and work here. So I'm basically... Uh, this is... This is my people, right? This is what happened. Yeah, I was in a- Yeah, it was a fucking potato ship from Ireland. I'm not even fucking kidding you, man. If they can accommodate us all, I shall gladly accept it. Master Alphanod, once again I find myself in your debt. Pray not, do not thank me, my lady. The life in your people is to go, uh, is one of hard labor and few comforts, as I told you. And before that, there remains- It's not- Listen. It's not slavery, it's indentured servitude. That's a pog. Slavery is a feels bad man, indentured servitude. That's at least a, not really a pog. It's more of like a feels okay man. You know, it's like, okay, it's, it's not right. You know, it could, could be better. There remains a matter of how they may safely be born to Revenant's Toll, which be no small feat considering the distance and the present's condition. We'll just use the crystal. Uh, may have to endow an adventurer's guide be of assistance. Look to me there, a non Asmongold. All right, let's go over there. Seems fine to me. Let's go. Lady Igari, if you and your people would accompany me, we may discuss what aid the Immortal Flames can provide. Damn, so he's gonna help him anyway. He says, fuck that. You think I'm gonna listen to that Wallafell? Suck up my dick, Dorito. Fuck you. Okay, I'm assuming this is where I have to go, right? Wandering Eye. Yeah, this has gotta be it. Okay, destination. Let's talk to the Wandering Eye. How are they flying? Oh, the horse? Uh, magic, apparently. Yeah, that's the way everything in this game works. If there's something you don't understand with the game, uh, the reason why uh, it is the way it is is because of magic. That's literally it. Okay, so just just know that. Okay, that's easy. Survey the road, Nudala. Wait, that's all I had to do? That was a joke. No fucking problem there, all right? Now what? The wandering eye has been unwandered. So there was a beastie. Was being the operative word, huh? Well fought, sir. Well fought. Looks like Peo. Uh, if only you're in better health, I should have been proud to stand at your side. <coughs> Pay my son no mind. He forgets his responsibilities preclude acts of daring do. He's gonna fall, isn't he? Hmm. Be as may that I cannot help but envy you. Have we been able to call upon heroes of your strength and skill in Dama? Uh, things would have been very different. True. Uh, but we cannot change the past. Those who fought and fell are forever lost to us. Lost but not forgotten. Lady Ugari's kinsmen least of all. They fought fiercest. And though they knew full well that it was in vain. She had every right to walk away. Yet she chose to stay. Food, shelter, and the promise of a better life. All of this and more we owe to her. How does one even begin to repay such a debt? In kind, father. She who has given everything, we too shall give our all. Whatever work there is to be done, we shall do so without question. 
Ditch digging, brick laying, it matters not. Revenant's toll will grow and prosper by our hands. Damn. Damn, these guys gonna work their damn ass off. What is this? Wait, what's going on? Hey, Mr. Asmongold! I want to know how you be- why you became an adventurer. Um, to win glory. To win glory. Glory? Ah, like bringing honor to your family, you mean? Uh, nah, just to me. <laughs> just- just to me. What do you- I- no. It's my turn. Now, excuse me, Mr. Asmongold, I've got a question. What's Revenant's toll like? Is it pretty? It's an absolute shithole. And you're gonna hate it. It's a bustling outpost, frequented by countless adventurers. It's a bastion of civilization and a and harsh and unforgiving wilderness. You know what? I'm gonna give her the worst possible answer. I'm gonna go with number four. Yeah, from an Impero Castrum. Yeah, you're gonna live there. Ha, you can't fool me. No one would ever live that close to a castrum. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah. Enough, Kataru. It's my it's my turn again. Mr. Asmigal, whenever I'm older, I want to be strong like you. What do I have to do? Um, you have to go to the store and uh there's a I think it's for thirty dollars, there's a boost. And you can go all the way up to level seventy uh for like thirty dollars. And you just buy that boost, and that's all there is to it. Seek out new experiences, fight ferocious beasts, train every day, buy weapons and armor. I just fucking just buy the shit on the store. Yeah, just just buy shit on the store. That's all, kid. Rowena, is she nice? Are her weapons cheap? I don't have any money at the moment, but my father might. I'll have to ask him. Oh, great. All right, all right. That's enough questions from Mr. Asmongold. That's not fair. Why does Yozin get to ask two questions? I want to know about adventuring it just as much as he does. Oh, great. I've got to answer another fucking question. Do you think I could be an adventurer like you one day? Oh, shit. Wait, I didn't get... Oh. Well, I don't want the kid to sign his life away to get killed. I, I never agreed to saying that. We can't talk about it in the carriage anymore on the way. Will you be joining us? No. Ah, shit! I get motion sickness. Great. Man, I, I'm sure having a lot of fun. They better give me that carpet whenever we get there. I think I deserve it. Ah, this may be the must be the esteemed Lady, uh, Lady Uguri and her associates. I greet you all as friends and bid you welcome to the toll. I hope you do not find our dearth of fineries off-putting. Poor though as we may seem, we have a wealth of spirit and camaraderie to spare. You see, race and creed don't enter it into here. We welcome all sorts, provided they are willing to learn and earn their upkeep, of course. We are no strangers to hard work, Master Slurfborn. They're already calling him Master? What the hell? Um, you may rest assured that we will carry out your orders with due diligence. Ah, not for a moment did I doubt your commitment, my lady. Uh, pray understand, I did give the same speech to all new arrivals, and you needn't bow, need, or call me master either. We are both frontier hands, as far as I'm concerned. As you wish, Slapborn. May this meeting mark the beginning of a long and fruitful relationship. Our guests have yet to meet with the antecedent. Seventh Hells, Asmogold, why are you wasting time with me? See them to the Rising Stones. Okay. I am given to understand that you were quite busy in Vesper Bay. Mayhap you questioned wisdom of aiding refugees when the primal threat remains undissolved. I should not blame you if you did, nor would I deny this matter falls outside of our normal purview. But as it may, I could not ignore the plight of these refugees, not when it was in our power to help them. True. Lady Uguri is here. Please show her in. I should very much like to meet her. Yeah. All right. Pleasant trees are over. We have no objections. Pray do so with our blessing. Your answer pleases me beyond words, my lady. But are you so quite certain? We have no way of knowing how many might answer my summons. In the need of Revenant's Toll could not accommodate us all, we would need to find an alternative solution. Should that come to pass, we will find it together. As ever, it has been a pleasure, Antecedent. Alas, we must take our leave as the first carriages are due to arrive at any moment. Should you require odd anything else, pray seek with Slathborn, Lady Uguri, Asmongold. Okay. Oh, I thought she was going to take off her, uh, her hood. I really thought it was going to happen there. 
I thought for fucking sure. Lee Ban and I will make all the necessary preparations to ensure that our domain friends feel at home upon their arrival. Though I must admit that I'm still troubled about the matter of the missing crystals. Yes, the crack rocks. Yashlata should be re returning soon with a report from the field. Mayhap you can wait here and speak with her upon r arrival. Yes. My wife collection increases. This is good. This is good, dude. Look at that. The harem is coming together. Yeah, exactly. Uh-oh, she's mad? How goes the fishing? Oh. Caught anything slippery? Damn. Aye. Our suspicions were well founded. The serpent reapers are indeed the culprits. Wow. I would have never guessed that. The plot thickens. It sure does. Has there been any movement in Thalala? It has been blessedly quiet. Which is to say the Amalja are being no more or less of a nuisance than usual. Amalja? So oh, not Amanjala. as they have hoarded. Summoning Ifrit again and again and again. Uriange too reports not. Who the fuck the is that? Oh. Then we have our explanation. Right. Your explanation for what? Pray tell. Pray tell. For the recent spate of crystal thefts in Thanalan, we naturally assumed that the trail would lead us back to the Amalja. Yeah. Yet it did not. It led us across the sea unto Vilbrand. Shit. Vilbrand? Oh, what? There have been reports of increased Sahagin activity of late. Saha th those are the fucking... Th those are the fish boys. Oh, gods. They mean to summon Leviathan? That is the way of it, I fear. Oh. Whilst conducting oh. our investigation on behalf of the mineral concern, we came upon evidence <sighs> implicating right. the serpent reavers. All right, we have... With the aid of the maelstrom, I was able do. to verify our suspicions. It is yes. only a matter of time before Leviathan returns to harrow the seas. Disgusting. But there is more. One of the Sahagin, an elder by my judgment, spoke of attaining the gift and knowledge of eternity. Oh! Google! Ugh. What is this? Such a disturbance in the ether. If I did not know better, I should think this device. If I go to the Final Fantasy Fan Fest, will there be girls dressed up like cat girls there? Yes. Where is it? It's in Las Vegas. Can't you marry multiple people in Las Vegas too? Yes. Very interesting. Such a disturbance in the. Okay, I read that one. Yeah, I read she said that actually. Oh, wow. That's a summoning stone. And there is the explanation. Yeah. That guy looks like an idiot. Soon. Soon it shall begin. Our Lord shall rise mid surging waves to wash away the finless one. Ah, oh, it sounds like he just got his braces. I remember that. And I shall be granted the gift and knowledge of eternity, and with the emissary stand equal. Then shall I know no cessation, no oblivion. Jesus. I'm ready to fight this boss, man. Let's go. I like these NPCs. I think they look cool. Whence comes this promise of immortality? The emissary? Yes. We have outstayed our welcome. Uh-oh. Beat the fuck out of him. So we gotta go get the we gotta go get to the bottom of this. We gotta go solve this situation. We gotta we gotta take care of this problem. The gift and knowledge. Are the two of you quite well? Uh yeah. You you shared that vision, did you not? Yes. Even before the Sahagin made mention of the emissary, I recognized Elidibus's words. He is behind this. Elidibus. Oh, 
Oh! He's behind- wait, so he's getting them to but summon Leviathan. It is not within his power to grant the Echo. My lady, unless we act swiftly, Leviathan will rise again. That sounds like a bad thing. The Admiral thing. has already requested that we intervene to prevent this. Failing that, we are to attend to the Primal's extermination. Well, good, let's beat the fuck out of him. She will have our full cooperation. Let us make haste to Limsa Lominsa. Okay, let's go. I mean to play a part in this mission. Tataru, pray, take charge in my absence. What? Tataru is in charge? Are you kidding me? My lady, are you sure this is wise? I'm sure it's not. I am aware of the risks, but there is something I must see with my own eyes. I thought we were talking about Tataru being in charge. That was the problem. The true nature of the Echo. Very well. I shall not stand in your way. Okay. On the condition that you permit me to accompany you as bodyguard. Okay. Okay, what a your pimp. Your company is ever welcome, Thancred. What a pimp, dude. I take it something ill is afoot. Yeah. Aye. A primal is about to be loosed upon Eorzea. Uh-oh. A primal? Yeah. A godlike being whose very existence is a bane upon the land. We scions of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to put an end to their kind. It's an elaborate loop pinata, and we're gonna have to beat the fuck out of it. Yay! Those are like the worst background characters. Know they don't do anything. I in the arts of war. In return for the kindness you have shown my people, I would lend you my blade. Oh wow. Great. Awesome. It would be most welcome. When contending with a primal, one can never have too many able allies. True. If you crave a more intimate understanding of the problems facing Eorzea, this experience is like to provide it. Be sure to come well prepared. She needs to bring the chainmail bikini armor. Obviously. Okay, we got that one done. So now we're gonna fight the fucking primal? I'm ready, dude. I am so fucking ready for this. But before we do anything else, let us hasten to Lisa Lamenta and meet with the Admiral. She must- she will not have been ad, uh, idle in intervening time, and will doubtless have valuable information to share. Let us go. Welcome, friends. I take it Yashlada has appraised you of the situation. Did they make her boobs bigger? Because I feel like, isn't this like post-content that was added later on? I think that- no. I, th I don't know, guys. I think it's possible. It's a I think it's absolutely possible. Let us wait until time, then. According to our best intelligence, the Sahagan had not crystals to summon their god. Alas, we did not account the Serpent Reavers venturing as far as Thalland to supplement their cash. For their short-sightedness, we are faced with the grim prospect of Leviathan's imminent return. Okay, so let's go back over there. The sea rises. As do I. Do you think I'm really gonna be afraid of this chode head? Do you think I'm really gonna get scared of Mr. Chode head? Oh no. Oh no, not Mr. Chode head. Oh no. Primals, I wanna, dude, I wanna fight the Leviathan on, on fucking extreme. I might do that after I fucking kill him here. I think that's gonna be fucking. of soldiers and civilians both. True. Oh shit. It's okay, milady. I'll save you. Is this Thaladred? Did I miss much? Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, shit. Dude, Sheik's coming in hard. Bro, this is Smash Brothers Melee, Sheik. Shit's OP. God damn. Look at that. Thaladred helping? Yeah, not really. So that is how you fight in the Far East. Mental note, pick no quarrel with Dominus. But seriously, if I am to keep up, I must needs forsake elegance or efficiency. Okay. So is he gonna go fucking crazy? Oh, shit. Jesus, dude. God damn. Why doesn't he just take care of everything, man? Wait, what am I doing in this cinematic? Am I just like, uh, just chilling? 
Yeah, I'm just like, I'm like, yeah, wow, that's crazy. Wow, you guys are really popping off. I'm AFK. Maybe that's what it is. Jesus. There's no blood in the game, man. That's so weird. Like, imagine if this was Gears of War. Just like literally just cutting their limbs off and shit. Oh my god. To the eighth right. Okay. Let's go to the eighth right. Oh no, we've got to fight the uh, the king here. Wait, do I actually fight him or do I fight him in his cinematic? Let's find out. It's me. Okay. Okay. Hell yeah, brother! You'll forgive me my lateness. Hell yeah! <laughs> Fucking shot him with a gun, man! <laughs> Showing up! Uh oh. Damn! Jesus! Wait, yo, Milfina can't do anything, man! All she does is get knocked down and cry! Yeah, good angle. Agreed. Uh huh. Well, now what? Long have you shriveled, Zorwalker. Tormented our kind. He's about to summon the son of a bitch, isn't he? But no more. Yep. Here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it, dick ass boy. You shall perish with salt in your wounds and sea in your lungs. Damn, this guy's an asshole. What the fuck is going Lord on? Lord of the world, hearken to our plea. Lord of the world, deliver us from our misery. What the fuck? Do you feel that? Yes, I do. Now what? This is scary. Am I gonna die in real life in the cutscene? Oh no. She's got a headache. I know this sensation. It's the echo. What the fuck? What? What? <laughs> what? So this thing has the ec yeah. <laughs> what are we wait? What were we waiting on? Really? Like, why were we waiting on this? That would have been yeah. He got shot in the back of the head, dude. Oh, what's that? Oh shit! What the fuck? Seven hell. What the fuck? <laughs> Strike me down if you will. It is futile. I have mastered the gift. I am eternal. What the fuck is going on here? Oh my god. Oh, mighty Leviathan. Ruler of the seas. Born of waters primordial. Oh shit. Oh shit. Which might grant your faithful servants deliverance. Okay, let us grant them deliverance. I beseech you. Come forth. Alright, where he be at? He probably not even that big. He probably not Die, even that big. Damn you. There's three of them. Just shoot the other ones right now. There we go. There we go. Foolish, oh. You cannot kill that which is eternal. They should have shot him earlier. Oh. What the f 
Oh no. Heavens Fuck. Damn it all. Yeah, it's about right. Holy shit. We have to kill this? Too bad, bitch. Am I not immortal? Curse you, emissary. Oh. They tricked his ass. They tricked his He got jebaited. He got jebaited into everlasting torment and be servitude to a primal by the Illuminati. And he got deleted. Damn. I can kill him. It's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. What say you? Nary a single ship. Hells take that sea demon. Gather the survivors and get to shore. Leave the wrecks for the pirates. Damn. They're running away. Leviathan wastes no time. The diversionary squadron is lost. Holy shit. This Remember, guy ain't playing. He's not playing games. Primal now makes for open sea. But why does he not press his advantage? Unless... What? God save us. He means to unleash a tidal wave. Damn, I was fast. Oh, so he's gonna fucking use the tidal wave and destroy the whole city. Now what? So we, we, we're go... Assemble the remnants of the fleet at Moraby Bay. Alright, boys. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to go to work? Can wait. We're about to pop the fuck off. Let's go. Who's this? Who are you? What? What is it, bitch? What do you want? A message, Admiral. I judge it best be delivered at once. I'm listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who has claimed to defeat the Leviathan. Well, that okay. If that makes it easier, great. One of the company heroes. Yeah. I mean, details are quite hazy, Admiral. But we have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. All right, problem solved. All right, well, this, you know, everything, things have a way of working themselves out. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm disinclined by put, uh, to put any store to this claim, but it should be true, as Yashlata said, none save the company of heroes have bested Leviathan, and we know how they went about it. If this man is in their number, what could they, t what could he tell us that they do not already know already? And yet, having wagered uh, Limsa's survive one, two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals, can we really afford to ignore this man? If his testimony could yield us of any matter of advantage, should we not hear it? Damn it all. The twin vessel will be soon ready, but we have no time to wait in the Maelstrom's report on the supposed primal slayer's claims. Asmongold, seek him out and learn what what he knows, and at the very least, it will spare you the torment of waiting for the reckoning and idleness. Okay. So I've got to go talk to this guy. Hello? Hey. What up? I, I can't even explain it. I felt like this crazy urge, like uh, I was being summoned. Uh, so I, yeah, I had no choice but to say hello. I, I felt like I was being summoned. And I figured that right now, I may as well tell you this 100% true thing that's uh, not false okay way. all right so the developer i don't know if you've heard of square square equinox the developers of final fantasy xiv but uh, they hit me up yeah they they said that they, they would be willing to talk but you have to go lalafell first and this is 100 percent true and not made up so if you want to have like the best interview ever you have to go lalafell right like right now they're literally watching you. they're waiting for you to drink the fantasia so stop being a bitch and drink the Fantasia, dude. I, I have a feeling that this could be untrue. I'm not what? saying, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying I have a feeling that it could be untrue. What, dude? It's me. Okay. It's All right. I'm gonna have to see this email chain, and if it's true, if this is legitimate, I will be going Lawfell tomorrow in the morning. Okay. okay, I'll send. I'll send. I'll forward you the email. Yeah, I'll, former, I'll forward me the email chain, and if it's true, I will go Lalafell tomorrow morning. Don't do it. Uh, I, it's a fake email. <laughs> it's from, here's the email. It's from Rich Campbell at gmail.com. <laughs> yeah, that's where it is. Okay. All right. Well, here's the who's the guy. No. No. Oh no! 
Now we'll cure you. You'll have your bloody story right after you carry those sacks of grain over to the mill. But sir, you said this after you have to pick the oranges, and after I mucked out the chocobo stables, and after I rolled out the millstone over the mill, and also before... Wait, what's he wearing? What? what wait, what is this? Y'all can't see this. Look at this. Look at that. You look at look at that. Look at that shit. Can you believe that? What is wrong with this game? Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that oh track them and our generous soul. Now prick up your ears because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, you see. Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting. You can. Ahem. The tale of Tractrum's epic victory over the dread primal... Leviabetus? Leviabet- Levia, what the fuck? What the fuck is Leviabetus? Oh my god. Now, Leviabetus is huge, make no mistake. And to give you an idea of how big, each of his scales are about as wide across as me members long. And that's no man feet, I'll tell you. We must have fought him and barely could see for all what Brian was pelting me with. Uh, must have been Lagoon's worth at least. He even knocked me Prusty Alex out of my hand at one stage. Of course, that proved to be a grave mistake. Heh heh heh. Well, what happened next? Well, I grabbed him by the tail and I tied him up in knots. But not wanting to take all the glory for myself, I left my mates and the company heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm a modest as well as heroic person. Mayhap too modest. Now, there's some to say it'd never be truly, you can never truly beat Leviabetus. That you've got to learn to live with them and make the best of a bad situation, not the company, though. Uh. It's you! Surprise, bitch! No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention is all. I take back everything I- What? Wait, he didn't even try to play it off? I was never part of the company of heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm chocobo dung. No, I'm the maggots you find wriggling in chocobo dung. Ugh, what the fuck? Uh, I have to lie to women to tumble <laughs> And even that don't happen much my members tiny it's be Bro this guy just went zero to 60 so fast. Oh wow me members tiny it's pathetic uh, Yeah, I sure as hell didn't fight Leviabetus, but I have seen him with me own two eyes it was a few years back, I was working as a baker's hand, I was shirking me duties one day, loitering about the harbor whenever I saw it. A great big massive sea serpent with some malms off the coast, with a fleet of galleons making straight for it, cannons firing, I was so bloody scared I soiled myself right then and there. Oh god. Just remember the day that I made my soil myself all over again. Wait, what? Oh god. If you're asking after why I beat this, it means you're planning to fight him, yeah? Well, take care. He really is terrible. Dreadful, I'll tell you. And if you're not careful, he'll end up in your, you'll end up in his gullet or at the bottom of the sea. Damn. Why, you worthless, lying whore son. I can't believe that you made me handle chocobo dung. <laughs> okay, this is Milfina. Were you able to learn what to use against Leviathan? I beg your pardon, Levia Betis. That's unfortunate. A any, <laughs> I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at the Moby Dicks. Pray, uh, pray return whenever you can. Okay. Sounds fine. I can do that. It's expected that Sahagan and their thralls will attempt to come into Leviathan's defense. Accordingly, the Maelstrom will once again employ diversions. Thancred and Yashlata. Uh, we, I will have you assist in this effort. If it's to fulfill its purpose, your diversionary force must not want for numbers. By your leave, I would volunteer my blade. We would welcome it. Having seen you fight in Sapsa, I dare say the fishbacks would find your presence highly diverting. Uh, thank you, and Yashlata. If you would join the third levy, Lady Yuguri, and the fifth. Damn, all right. So now we've got ourselves our, our new member of the team. But what words have I for the man who has made sport of slaying gods? Only these. Go warily, for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of light. I would know. I, I would echo the admiral's sentiments and add a few words of my own. Know that we all have the utmost faith in you, Asmongold. May the crystal bless you and keep you. All right. All right. What's this? We on a ship. We on a ship. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Oh my god. The Leviathan. Yeah, this is the fucking fight, man. Oh, he's got a shield on him. What the fuck? Oh, this is not good at all. He's gonna blow up the fucking ship. Wait, no, he won't. He How do he miss all three shots? Man, this guy's dumb. Oh. This is cool. What the fuck, dude? Wait. Wait, it's just me by myself. <laughs> it's just me. Oh my god. Um... Okay, I've got a big dick it all by myself on final destination. Jesus. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. I can do this. Okay, so um basically we just uh we just attack him, right? I feel like yeah, we just attack him. Let's go. Let's get on the boss. Okay, big damage here. Huge damage here. Massive fucking damage. Literally unstoppable damage. What? I literally just popped my CD. Wait, is he over there? Where's he? I'm just gonna you! What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? Okay, alright, we're good. This is no problem, guys. Absolutely no problem. So we just get Levi the Leviathan's tail. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god. Yo, this shit's intense. Okay, I'll just pick up the boss, I guess. I'll focus on him. And then everybody else can kill the ads. This doesn't really seem like it's that bad. Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty well here. I don't know if I'm supposed to move out of that or not, but I'll assume that I am. Drink deep the sitter's bitter draft. Oh wait, he talks? How can he talk? He's a snake. Well, I guess that's a Bible. The Bible had a talking snake, too. Never mind. Okay. Nice. All right, that thing's dead. There we go. Good. This is going really well so far. Dude, we're going crazy. This boss is fucking easy. He's not even doing anything. Oh, my God. The elemental convertible is all now operatable. Oh, he's just... Oh, shit. Okay, let's focus. What the fuck? What? What? You got it, bro. You got it. This is you, bro. This, it's it's a wipe. Okay, we wiped. Uh, we we were really really close to killing him, but um, uh, unfortunately we just had a uh, we had one person die there at the very end. So as soon as he goes underwater, I go to the middle. I'm not getting any heals. Uh, I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Good. Okay. Oh, okay. I was, dude, I put up my fucking death save in case I died there. There we go. Oh, wait. wait. Okay, so we wait right here, don't we? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then I, gri I grip his ass. I, all right, I big dick on him. I big dick on him right here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Huge damage. Massive fucking damage. Let's go. Kill him right now. Come on. Nice. Huge fucking DPS. Massive fucking dicks. I feel like, dude, this one's getting destroyed. This shit's easy. Oh my god. He's dead. Easy fucking boss. Easy fucking boss. 
Wow. Wait, this is he's dead, right? Oh, he got deleted. Yeah, it's no problem. Okay, well that problem was fucking solved. Okay, now what do I have to do? We Lominsons are sworn to strive till sea swallows all. And swallow all it would have had Leviathan prevailed. That we still strive now, we owe in no small part to you. You're welcome. Not for the first time, you have delivered Limsa Lominsa from the wrath of a primal. Never has our nation known a stouter ally. Mm -hmm. I did that. On behalf of my people, I give you my humblest thanks. Of course. Of course. It was easy. I don't even say anything. I'm just you there. That I give thanks to old Mistbeard, too, for his fine solution. Whatever else he may have been, it is clear he was a resourceful soul. Would that I had a man like him in my service. Damn, okay. Before I set foot in these lands, I had no inkling that the people of Eorzea contended with such mighty foes. True. Suffice it to say, their existence came as something of a shock, as did the idea that they could be defeated. Yeah, the giant this ass fucking... has served to yeah. remind me of the vastness of the world and the boundless potential of man. True. Though I am but a refugee in this realm, I would fain be of use to you in your fight. Know that I am tutored in one of the foremost combat arts of the Far East. Oh, shit. It may seem outlandish to the Eorzean eye, but should any of your people care to learn, I would be pleased to initiate. Is this how they introduced the ninja class? Wait a second, is this how they introduced the ninja class? Yes. Oh, shit, that's crazy. Wow. That's cool. And I will see to it that they are grateful. I have no doubt that your knowledge and skills mm -hmm. will serve us well. Of course. Besides, your art is not so outlandish as you think. Would you not agree, Master Thangre? Yeah, he got shown up. Not escapes your searching eye, Admiral. Few are privy to this information, but Limsa Lominsa is home to a certain secret fraternity. Its members are trained in a form of combat, not unlike your own. Oh! This is the, uh, yeah, I've heard about this in the news recently. It's a bad place. By my judgment, it should not be beyond such individuals to adapt to the techniques I witnessed you employing with such admirable deafness. Of course. Absolutely. I am heartened to hear this. I, too, noted a kinship between your style and mine own. Though it seemed to me that you fought differently in the beginning. Yeah, he, he leveled up. He got a new spell. Uh, I, I suppose I did. What can I say? I'm a man of many talents. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Though you may labor to believe it, Thangred was once something of a scoundrel who fraternized with the criminal class in these parts. Damn, so this guy's a straight up thug. Damn. You stole her. You jest, of course. Wow. This guy, he's a, he's a straight up G, dude. Thug life. Grandsire, he might never have left Limsa Lominsa, or received an education in Charlian, or taken up his post in Uldar, which is where he trained in the Blade, lest you want. Wow, dude. Thancred is getting fucking exposed. God damn. Minfilia, please. Take the boy out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the boy. Is that right? <laughs> it would seem there is more to you than meets the eye, Master Thancred. Yeah, Maybe she didn't give a fuck. Give I am told that you and yours came to Eorzea seeking permanent resettlement, and that many domains have since been engaged as frontier hands at Revenant's Toll. Mordona is many things, but a place of refuge it is not. Know that I would like nothing better than to furnish your people with a new home here on Lominson soil. Wow. Alas, racked by instability as Damn. Well, our nation is in no fit state to take you in. Yet I'll not have it said that we turned a blind eye to your suffering. Until such time as we can do more, I pledge to send provisions. Damn, these guys are helping out. We are in your debt, Admiral. I realize that it scarce qualifies as repayment, but if it please you, 
I shall set about sharing my martial knowledge with your people at once. Okay. Great. Food for the slaves. Yeah, exactly. What is this? Now what? Oh. You wished a word in private. All right. The better not to spoil the festive mood. Okay. History repeats itself, Admiral. As the kobolds stood before them, the Sahagin resorted to summoning their god over a territorial feud. They acted in self-preservation. Yeah. It may be that the Sahagin initiated this particular clash, but how it begins does not interest me so much as how it ends. I have not forgotten our conversation, Yashtola. I am aware that man bears part of the blame for the primal's existence. Yeah, we fucked up, huh? Nor am I ignorant we fucked of the Sahagin's reason for acting. They sought to secure a place to breed and multiply oh. that their kind might survive. Self-preservation, as you say. Yes, of course. But we have as much right to live and thrive as they. True. If our own survival is threatened, are we to lay down our arms and welcome oblivion? True. Hey. True, so cat girl. That you might live. Yet if living is a right, then that right belongs to all peoples. Be they men or beastmen. Oh jeez, we're gonna give them rights now, the beastmen? What are we going soft? I'll not deny your reasoning. But when a storm gathers, it falls to me to see oh, my people Jesus. safely through it. That is my duty, and I shall do it. Damn, she's pissed. She's fucking pissed. As must we all, Admiral. Yeah, it's exactly Stay right. Then, but know that it will lead to no good end. Now what? Oh, she. Oh, they couldn't see Man her because. Has ever put himself first and foremost. Bro. She was able to stand there and they didn't know why. They didn't see her there. You know why? It's because she's a ninja. Because she's a literal fucking ninja. To justify his actions, he clads himself in the armor of righteousness. <laughs> Would be a fancy of his own making. In this. Mayhap the Garleans and we Domans are not so different. What this be? Eorzea has become as a raging sea. If we are to keep our heads above the waves, we cannot scruple to drown the man next to us. Oh, yeah. When hopes of coexistence founder, Strength must determine who has the greater right to live. Damn. Rich tweet? What's this? Nah, there's no way. There's no way, bro. Like, there's no way. Look at, look at what it says. A proposal for Asmongold. Dear Rich, we have seen the tremendous success of your streams. We have never seen a better streamer playing our game. Nonetheless, this handsome and good-looking, truly inspiring. We would like to formally invite both you and Asmongold to an interview. This, however, is on one condition. Asmongold must switch his main Final Fantasy character, Asmongold Bald, to a Lalafell via Fantasia. I mean, like, th this is true. I feel like this is about uh, Gmail. I feel like Square Enix has something besides Gmail.com, though, right? I mean... I don't know, guys. Like, is, what do you guys think? Is this one real or not? It, it seems like it's probably not legit, man. I really think it's not legit. Yeah, 2.2 .2 finished. Is that right? So if I talk to Milfina, this finishes uh, the 2.2. .2, is that right? Let's see what this is. Dual hack and. Holy shit, this is huge. Oh my god. But it's a beefy boy. Hold look at this, dude. Dude. Wait. What if I do this with the purple version of this armor? What the 
fuck? Oh my god, that would be beautiful. That would be so fucking beautiful. That'd be great. What the fuck is this? Okay. Um. I, I. Accurate. Very, very accurate. Okay, I've got to go talk to Milfina here. Apparently, this is the end of the entire quest line. I have been reflecting upon the events which took place during our visit to Vilbrand. Yeah? If you have a moment, I would share my conclusions with you. Please, bear with me. I am bearing. When the Sahagin Elder summoned Leviathan, he employed the power we have come to know as the Echo. Right. Though I cannot well explain the how of it, it would seem he became immortal in so doing. Damn. When the Admiral subsequently slew him, his spirit emerged from his lifeless flesh, a consciousness shorn of physical form. Okay. Thus transfigured, he took up residence in the body of his minion with the ease of a man donning a favorite glove. True. Long have I known that the Echo allows one to pass through the walls of a man's soul. Mm -hmm. But never did I imagine that it could free us from our own flesh, nor less that our souls could then occupy the next corporeal vessel to take our fancy. So that makes sense whenever I die in the game, I can respond because my soul just goes to somebody else. That actually makes a lot of sense. I understand it now. It was of this that Elidibus spoke, an existence which knows neither cessation nor oblivion. What the fuck, dude? You and know? Yet, though oh, okay. Though had mastered his gift and thereby become immortal, he was by no means invulnerable. True. As we both bore witness, he was ultimately absorbed into Leviathan. Yeah, he got fucking disenchanted. And the import of this and they threw away the shard. If the Asian's mode of existence is indeed the same, it can be inferred that they too are not invulnerable, that they can be destroyed. True. There exists a legend which tells of souls who are reborn upon the cusp of each umbral calamity that they might stay the encroaching darkness. People that play every game. To most, yeah. it is but a fairy tale. Yet recent events have given me cause to wonder. Mm -hmm. Could the legend in fact refer to the Echo? That's possible. Much and more yet remains unknown. But I am confident that all will become clear in time. Okay. For the present, however, what matters is that the key to defeating the Asians may at last be within sight. Great. With Orianger's aid, it is my hope that I shall fathom this matter ere long. Okay. Oh, shit. It's uber danger. Oh, I was just about to send... Who's this? What do you want? Is Otimus? Grave tidings from the Charlian motherland, my lady. Guess who it is? It doth concern our distant allies, the students... Is it another primal? What of them? My lady, the Isle of Val, which for many years hath been the Order's home, is no more. Oh, shit. What happened to it? No more? Whatever do you mean? Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? I relate only that which hath been conveyed unto me by our agents. Thanks and for my gamer for the fucking five gifted tier two subs. Thank you. In the region. Soon thereafter, it was observed that the isle had ceased to be. What? What do you mean it despawned? It is postulated that a magic was evoked, like in power to Ultima. Oh shit. Twelve preserve. Shit. Well, fuck, dude. Oh, wow. Okay. Now what? Oh, if there are no it's other a wall of fell. I move that today's meeting be adjourned. Okay, now what? It's just a one guy sitting there waiting. What does he want? It, yeah, he's the wall of fell. Lord Dorito. Oh, damn, this looks really nice. The lighting and everything? No. Is it Nessetian? Wait, no, it's not. It is done, my lord. 
What the fuck is? I <clears throat> forgive my impertinence, my lord, but these orders, I am uncertain as to what end they serve. Why the fuck? Revolution. Is it? Are we going up against Little Che Guevara? We're going up against Little Che. Oh no! Oh no, bruh! 